my writing process, I'm not sure there is a process. Um, one rule, one principle is I find topics that I am truly interested in. Uh, I only work on, on articles, books, where you know, I find it so compelling, the, the, the subject, that I'd rather uh, do work than you know, watch sports or you know, watch movies or do other things. So that's one of my criteria, is to find something where I'm genuinely enthusiastic about it. And, uh, and to be a good writer, or to be a productive writer at least, I can say, um, it requires discipline, absolutely. Um, I'm not as disciplined as some people I know. Um, I, th I remember Professor Shama would get up at five in the morning and write very early, and I can't do that. But I'm at my desk uh, almost every morning by 7.30. Uh, I was on sabbatical last year, and even on sabbatical, uh, I'd be there 7.30. And you have to put in the time. Uh, writing is a strenuous process, and I think there's a finite amount of time that one can write. So for me, my preferred schedule would be to write in the mornings um, at 7.30 till 1, 1.30. Uh, and because I live in California and it's feasible, then I like to go to the pool and swim. And I swim most every day. And that's an opportunity for me to process the morning's work and morning's writing. Because what else is there to do in the pool, actually? It's a really dull sport, but um, it's easy on my, my, my joints, my hip. So when I'm in the pool, I'm thinking and processing. And then I'll go back in the afternoon for a little bit. And I'll just kind of tweak things. Um, but mostly then the afternoons are an opportunity to read some more and to prepare for the next day. And uh, when I was in graduate school, we had an expression, it came from Charles Mayer, he would call it double shifting. And that meant that you went back to writing in the evenings after dinner, eight o'clock or so. And then at that time I would write till one in the morning and then I would double shift. And I, I'm no longer able to do that anymore. Um, you know, maybe under a deadline or, or something. But for my writing, I just, I like the mornings and that's my routine. And so evenings too are for reading and preparing. And the idea that it's, it's all part of the, the afternoons and the evenings are part of this gestation process. And come the morning again, you have things you want to write about, things you want to say, and you're ready to, to create again. So there's a cycle, a natural cycle. Um, but I think it's, it's, you know, you have to spend the time. And, and for me, um, I have to revise. Um, you know, to, to, to write is to rewrite for me. And, uh, you know, once I have a manuscript, I go back to the beginning and I write it. Um, I go through it and rewrite it dozens of times, more than that, and from beginning to end to get the flow. And that way you're, I'm more sensitive to repetitions, one of my bet noirs, and to word choice. As you read it over again, you realize we have tendencies for certain words. So I guess that would be my process of spending the time and, and, and revising. And, and also, I think that's the, the conceit, or at least the, the thing I tell myself as I write, that everything is provisional, everything is subject to change. Just get it down, and you can go back and fix it and improve it later. So that's what I tell myself, and, and, uh, and I guess the other thing I tell myself is it doesn't matter so much what one's writing, especially early on in the process, as long as one's being productive. And sometimes I write my books the way um, movie makers would, would, would make a film. Uh, I don't do it sequentially, because uh, I understand that's how they make movies, um, that they'll film the ending first and then the beginning somewhere else. And so I always write at what I feel I, I want to write that day. And I may jump ahead in a book and say, this, this is what I, what I feel comfortable, excited about. And so as long as I'm being productive, um, you know, I'm, I'm basically satisfied.